And now I'm going to introduce to you the third contestant, representing Area 52, Matthew Holster, with his speech, Who Knows You Best? Matthew Holster, Who Knows You Best? I lie to myself. I cheat myself. Mr. Contest Master, who knows you best? Dignitaries in the room, who knows you best? Fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests, who knows you best? To accomplish any goal, to move forward in your life, you must have someone else help you hold yourself accountable. Who knows you best? I learned this lesson over the past year while I lost 40 pounds of weight exercising daily. <laughs> By going to a kickboxing class, I learned that having classmates that expected me there helped hold me accountable. That the class was 55 minutes long and I could not walk out early held me more accountable than the elliptical machine. Just a little digital keypad that I could press stop any time I wanted. Working in that kickboxing class, seeing my commitment and dedication, I met Oliver. He learned me and knows me best. Venezuelan, about my height, body like a Greek god. And he said, you know Matt, I need someone to help me work out and hold me accountable. I will train you. Let's start working out. That's great. Except this required that I go to the section of the gym where people like me, without a body, do not go. The free weight section. I do not look like Arnold Schwarzenegger lifting big weights. I am not the skinny, beautiful woman in the leotard showing off everything she has. But I learn from the people who matter that it's sweat that equals respect. The more out of shape you are, the harder you work, the more you sweat, the more respect you'll get. When you look at the other people in the gym and see that there's not even a drop of sweat and their hair isn't messed up, that's not respect. And a lot of those people, they cheated too. There's a lot of ways to cheat. Oliver said, we're going to do this the hard way. We're going to lift weight. The hardest machine I learned to use is the leg press machine. Because you don't stand at it. You actually have to sit down like an astronaut getting ready to lift off. There's a large black plate that becomes a movie screen to project all your fears, all your insecurities. Every doubt you have about yourself, as your friend that holds you accountable loads up 45 pound plates. If he told me in the beginning that within six months I'd be lifting the weight of a Siberian tiger, I would have said you're nuts. The first battle I had to fight was putting only 50 pounds on that machine. Every woman in the gym could lift more than I was. <laughs> I had to fight that embarrassment because I had to start somewhere. Within three months, I was up to three plates, 280 pounds, and I felt like I had accomplished something. Two more months after that, we were up to five 45-pound plates on each side for a total of 450 pounds. I was so excited, I took out my Blackberry and said, let's take a picture. Put it on Facebook. Oliver looks me straight in the eyes and said, when you can do seven plates, we'll take another picture. Now as we work out in our routine, I never know when that day is going to come. But I just show up at the gym, and Oliver gets that twinkle in his eye, we sit down at the leg press machine, and we start loading up the weight. Five plates, six plates, seven plates, ten repetitions. I jumped off that machine and said, yes, I did it! Ten, seven Take a picture! And Oliver just looked at me. 
said, we're not done yet. <laughs> See, the leg press machine is also intimidating because there's a little lever on the side that supports and releases the weight. And to release the weight and to engage it is like shifting an old Volkswagen manual transmission into reverse. It's not easy. When he put those eight plates on the leg press machine and I sat down for my sixth set, I pushed and pushed and finished and I could not get that lift engaged. My legs began to tremble. Bam! All 800 pounds came crashing down on me. Scared the living daylights out of me. There is a safety that catches the weight. That's why I'm here to speak to you today. <laughs> I'm done. Seven please. I did eight. I have exceeded my goal. Oliver looked at me and said, we're not done yet. <laughs> the ninth plates go on the machine. Why nine? Because that fills the rack. Sit down. Do it. I did. Three more repetitions of six sets. I could not believe how much I limited myself. 810 pounds. Done. I felt so proud. Oliver tapped me on the shoulder while I'm exhausted and said, now we can take a picture. So I challenge you to think, who knows you best? When you're lying to yourself and when you're cheating yourself? Find someone. Find someone who knows you best. If you have skills and you've advanced at something and you're very good at it, be that person, Sandy. Be that person for somebody else. And when you're done and you've accomplished your goal, don't forget to say thank you. That was back in December. I've been giving this speech for three months right now, and last Thursday, we started the second row with 10 plates. Oliver knows me best. Mr. Contest Master. And Matthew Hesher, who knows you best? One minute for judges.